We made more money in those two days than my husband makes in a month. We ran around 6,000 to start it, four to 500 patties, and it's really rewarding at the end of the day. I'm Katie Castle, my husband is Kevin, and then this is kind of like a family thing, Grandpa Jack Street Food and Catering, named after my husband's grandfather that passed away right before we started this. We just started Fresh Squeeze Lemonade, and we we're like, hey, let's add food to it. <laughs> Try to up the business a little bit. So this is our second year with our cart, and we're hoping to get into like a trailer or a truck or something. What did you do before this? A lot of different things. <laughs> I worked, I was a cake decorator for about 20 years. My husband, he's been a mechanic. He does installation for piping now for air compressors. I work for the kids' school. I work at a nursing home. <laughs> So I still do a lot of different things. And then what led you to get into like the food industry? What, what was the main reason? My husband worked on a food cart for a while and he just really loved it. And then during COVID, we started watching. He was watching all these different interviews with food trucks and stuff. And he's just like, let's do this. So that's when we started, it was right after COVID. What led you to go to a food cart and not like a food truck or a restaurant? The price pretty much, because it was like very expensive to get right into the food truck. That's what our friend did and he only did it like one year. And then he realized he wasn't having much luck with it. Can you talk about the investments that you had to make? Like how did you obtain this? Like how do you even find out about it? There's a company called, It's his name is Ben Wilson and he has like a hot dog cart store. They're out of Tennessee, and he just been, wa he was watching him on like Vendors United and stuff, and so we just kind of looked into that first. Can you say how much this cart costed? We ran around 6,000 to okay. start it, and we pretty much made that, that back, like no time at all. It's been, a, it was been a very good investment. We're hoping to, we're actually been talking about moving down to Tennessee, and so we can be able to do it all year round instead of just like in the spring and summer months. What led you to do like small events or pickleball, I guess, compared to checking out like a huge festival or something like that? Um, well, we're actually, we did the Hudsonville balloon days and we're gonna do the Coopersville car show too. So, but I don't remember how we even got into the pickleball. Like somebody heard about us and called to see if we wanted to like do the Beer City opening. So we did that and our name's just been getting out. Like we've had, we had somebody come up, they're like, oh, do you have the smash burgers? And I'm like, oh, our name's getting popular. <laughs> you know, people know, our no we, we are known for smash burgers. What are some of the event, other events that you guys do? We're gonna do the Whalen Balloon Fest. We do farmer's markets. We, last year we went out to Sandy Pines a lot because they do a lot of different things and there's always food trucks out there, but we haven't been out there at all this year. We've been staying kind of busy with everything else. And with me working mostly at their school, I have all summer pretty much free. We've been doing a lot of the food cart. Can you talk about your biggest event? That is probably this year, the Hudsonville Balloon Festival. It was crazy. There's so many people. <laughs> Do you know how many burgers or hot dogs you sold at the event? I think we did close to like four to 500 patties. And the hot dogs weren't as popular, but the burgers are just huge. I know when we did the Hudsonville balloon days, we made more money in those two days than my husband makes in a month at his full-time job. How long is that event? That one was, it's from four to 10 on Friday and Saturday. So it's, it's a long one. What is that, like 12 hours total? And then you have about an hour set up and tear down. And then for an event like that, what does the prep look like? like? How do you know how many hamburgers and hot dogs you have to bring? You don't. Sometimes we'll run out and then we have to go back. Like my husband, he didn't help at all, like actually running it. So he was like our to-go to man. <laughs> like him and my daughter, he, they like went to the store probably four, four times. So you don't always know like the amount. What are some of the biggest positives and biggest negatives to operating a food cart? Well, one positive, first of all, I get to work with my family. <laughs> Sometimes it's positive, but I don't know, I feel like I get to know a lot of people and it's really rewarding at the end of the day. Like I I've met a lot of people through this for sure. 
No, I would say negative. It's just a lot of work, especially when I do it on my own. What does your typical day-to-day -day or week look like? Well, lately I've been doing this like four to five days a week between farmers markets and different events and things like this. And it's just a lot. Go home, wash everything, <laughs> and get ready for the next day. What are some of the expenses that come with operating a food cart? The maintenance on the cart and obviously the product. Pretty much, I would say pretty much the maintenance in general as far as keeping things cleaned and propane and if anything breaks. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how much propane you go through? I don't. We have two two propane tanks underneath and it usually lasts I would say depending on how long the events are probably 20 hours maybe I have to depending on how often I do it I have to fill them probably like every other week what's the furthest that you've went for a, an event not very far like 35 minutes at the most would you ever go further or why do you stay I would close? I just never look really Coopersville is probably actually the farthest I've been which was only about 30 minutes so can you talk about your menu and then why you offer what you offer on your menu? We usually do like hot dogs, Italian sausage or Polish sausage and ham or smash burgers. Cause first of all, that's our most popular item. And I mean, it's hot dog cart, so <laughs> so we thought hot dogs. But we've done like taco, like a taco bar, and we've done pulled pork. Like when I'm at farmers markets, we can do breakfast sandwiches and things like that. How you uh, determine your pricing? We want to keep prices for people are okay to spend that without losing the money. So I mean, technically we could make them higher, but we don't just because we're still making money off of them and right. people are willing to buy. One guy said to me, he's like, your prices are really cheap. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, you could definitely make them more. So, I mean, we like to be fair. What is a new item that might be coming to your menu? We talked about doing like Sloppy Joes. I know the tacos we did one time, and that was a good seller, but we can do a lot of different things. We, like I said, Sloppy Joes are breakfast items. We can do like biscuits and gravy and things like that. I'm just curious, why don't you guys do French fries? Because we don't have a deep fryer. Okay. That's like the main reason. I mean, we probably could. We probably could put oil in one of those, but we looked into getting a deep fryer because for the Whale and Balloon Fest, we're going to do Philly cheese steaks, and we're like, oh, let's get french fries with those. So we did look into getting that. Can you talk about your advertising and what you've done for your advertising? Really just our business cards and social media, Facebook, and um, word of mouth, really. You haven't spent anything on advertising at all? Nope. <laughs> what are your plans on expanding or growing in the future? What do you think that looks like? I don't really know. Like we're just kind of playing it by ear, I guess. Hoping to get either a trailer or a truck, hopefully within the next few years. You don't want to get like two carts or? We talked like about that. that too, is getting two carts, but I don't know. I'm really not sure. <laughs> yeah. Can you talk about tonight and how it's been going and maybe what you didn't expect or what you expected going into it. I really didn't know what to expect. I've only been here once with this stuff. Do you know how much, like how many burgers you've sold or hot dogs you sold? I or? don't know. I haven't sold very many hot dogs, but I've gone through almost 10 pounds of burger. Do you try to work throughout the week and get weekends off? No, weekends are our busiest. We usually have something going every weekend. So, and with me being home more, I've been working most weekends and weekdays, but when I was, had my other job, then I was doing a little bit less, like only twice a week or something like that. What do you do during the winter time? I work at the kids' school. How far of a season do you get with this? Usually about April to end of September, sometimes into October. And then do you guys accept card and cash? And then which one do you think you get more of? We get more of card for sure. We do accept both, but card is definitely more popular. Nobody carries cash on anymore. Yeah. I know and a lot of people are like, do you take card? I'm like, you almost have to as a business nowadays. <laughs> what are three tips of advice that you would have for other entrepreneurs? Definitely be more organized than I am. <laughs> I don't feel like I really knew what I was doing going into it and my husband's more organized than me, but I'm the one who runs the whole thing. <laughs> so I would say keep track of your costs, because to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure what we are actually profiting. Definitely get a calendar with your events. That's been my hardest thing. Like this year has been the easiest because I have actually kept track of everything. I would say things like this, we do, for our big events, we do a um, thing on Square called KDS. And so it's like one iPad and then behind the grill is another iPad. Pad, where you know exactly the orders that 
that's coming in. And if it's like a food vendor, definitely join Vendors United. That's been our saving grace. <laughs>